Hi, I don't understand what's happening to Ireland at the moment. Can you please explain it to me? Naturally. Some private banking institutes speculatively borrowed billions of euros from German, British and French banks, and then gambled it on the global derivatives market, and lost it all. Ah, uh, so it wasn't the Irish state? No. However the incompetent gobshites that call themselves the government told the international markets not to worry about the gambled money. They said the Irish people would pay it back. Why did they do that? Because they got so-called expert advice from the EU. The EU. Do you mean Germany? Probably. So German banks are forcing the Irish people to pay a debt they don't actually owe. How much do they owe now then? Nobody knows precisely. But it looks like the best case scenario is 200 billion and the worst is in excess of 300 billion. Good grief. That sounds mathematically impossible. Correct. When you consider the compound interest on that, it is in reality a perpetual debt. The country has been conned. So it has nothing to do with the personal debt of the sovereign Irish people then? No. They are still repaying their own personal debt. The problem is that the government stapled the debt of a private bank to them without asking. Good grief. I bet they're angry. They will be when this season's X Factor is finished. I see. Are there any solutions? Of course. Force the government out of office for dereliction of duty and then force the new government to tell the ECB and the IMF to sick their bail out where the sun doesn't shine. Tell them that the Irish people are not falling for the perpetual debt trick that has befallen many a third world country. But what about the euro? Well, the euro is about as useful a currency to the Irish economy as a bag of stones, so the Irish government would simply reinstall the old Irish punt. Preferably they would make it a debt-free currency and amputate it from the control of private finance institutes. Is that what you think will happen? Unfortunately no. I think the ECB and the IMF will asset strip the country and send it back to the 1930s in terms of wealth. Good grief. I know. It's a sad state of affairs and the international media are completely clueless as to what is actually happening. It will happen to them in the not too distant future.